Hi, my babies. We're back with the Berserk Monk series. I believe we're only going to do two and three chapters right now because this is going to start off where the all in all reaction ended off in the animation that I just recently reacted to. So I hope you guys enjoy. So far, I feel like we know where we're at. So far, Guts is uh, getting chased by Farnese and them. Uh, Jill's dad is there. Puck is with her. Rosine just flew off into the sky. We, I don't think we, I think she's dead. I don't think we're ever going to see her again, which is very hurtful. Because I was, like, starting to fake like her. And, like, somebody was saying in the comments how you could really see the transfer, transformation of Guts turning into the monster versus Rosine, Rosine resorting, re retorting back to a child. And I really like that. You guys be reading. I like that. And paying attention. I like that. That being said, also the art is really great. I, I'm sorry I don't really go into detail with the art. I like storytelling, so I'm more into like the story. Um, The art is perfect. I, I cannot stress enough that who, whoever's drawing this, if he's drawing this alone during this time, he's a fantastic artist. He's awesome at what he does. I feel as though everybody in whoever loves manga really just likes certain type of art. Art is beautiful. I love art. I'm more into sculptures. But that's my preference. Everyone has a preference. So with that being said, let's get started. This is one chapter 117. This is the Conviction Art with the Lost Children chapter. And it's called Blue Sky Elf. Okay. Rosine's flown off for home. Almost like PCAF running back to his house. A road she will never reach the end of. Oh. God, she's crying. Damn it, got me good. Getting my hopes all up. They planned this from the start. Don't get me going on stuff that won't happen. Sons of bitches. This is like, this nigga ain't shit. He wasn't even excited to see his daughter. Like, jail, jail. Come on, we're going home, jail. Come on, quit standing like, let's go. I can't go. Say what? You fool. What the hell's that mean? Don't you talk back to me. You go back to the village, dad. Uh, hey, Joe, where the hell you think you're going with the elf, you stupid girl? Puck, find out where the swordsman is. All right. But it's dangerous. You saw him before, right? Besides, why after everything he's put you through? I don't know. I don't know, but I can't just leave things this way. Find him. Leave no stone unturned. Capture the black swordsman. Commander, it's hopeless in this fog. And if it's only a matter of time before the fire makes its way here. Silence. After years, we finally got cl this close. I'm not about to let him just escape. Mr. Swordsman, god damn it, girl. Are you going are you going away? Are you an idiot? You're still following me after all this crap? It's like I told you, huh? You're lucky to still be alive. You almost died plenty. Your old friend was killed and you're soaked in bloody sludge. Keep hanging around. I promise you you'll see more of the same. Now get lost, go away. But that time I nearly burned to death, you saved me, didn't you? So he still noticed Jill. Take me with you. I won't slow you down, so take me somewhere far away. Somewhere that isn't here. I don't care where, as long as it's not here. I don't care. Look, take a good look around us. A good, hard look at the shadows. At the darkness around me. This is hurtful. You said somewhere that's not here. That This is that somewhere. The verge of our world. This place is a drift where the dead cling to the living. Drowning in jealousy and yearning. A garbage heap of losers. You said you don't care well. Where? Well, you see what you get. This is your paradise. Child, young body. Give me, let me in. Give me, give me, yummy, yummy. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. There's no paradise for you to escape to. You what you'll find what's there is just a battlefield. I think this is the first time he ever consoled Jill. Every other time she like snuck to do it. This time it's like voluntarily holding her like don't join me. Mr. Swordsman, go home. I don't have I don't have a place I want to go home to. Go home. This is my battlefield. Only bad things happen there. No one's kind to me. Go back. Back to your battlefield. Mr. Swordsman. He disappeared into the darkness. In the end, I still don't know who he was. 
Just like when he appeared, he took the demons with him. I was the only one left behind. I still don't really know what these past days of fear, sadness, and shock were to me. The mist, the mist cleared away. The mist that will never go away was pushed out by the flames. The clear sky now peeks through. But it's by no means a spectacle that makes my heart leap like when I flew in the sky with Rosine. It's savage. That's a great synonym. Lonely, cold, but such a vivid sky. It's a clear sky like the kind after. A storm blows through. I don't have wings, so I guess I'll look up at the sky and crawl along the earth. Maybe the fluid from that cocoon he doused me with makes her Rosine's blood washed away with my childhood. Guess to sit, Jill. You're going? Yeah. Damn! Jill, will you be okay alone? Yeah. I guess I don't think I could be violent like the swordsman after all. And I guess I really don't have the courage to run away like Rosine did. But at least I'll think I'll try crying and shouting and fighting my way through. Maybe I could change something. Farewell, Gibbs. Sting your dad with this as much as you like. Thanks. Hey, Pug, why do you go with him? Elves really do look best in the blue sky. I just can't leave him be, that idiot. In a tiny village nestled in a ravine, difficult to see even from the air, I think about I'm, I'm about to start my own tiny battle. That's how it ends? Yo, this shit was sad. This shit was dumb sad. This is how the conviction art ends or like the lost children chapters end? Should I go to the next part? I'm not too sure. Because this was really great to witness too. Oh my goodness. You guys are freaking killing me with this talent, man. Um. Hmm. So. Damn, so with Guts and Rosine gone, the village was clear again? Yeah, I would I would call a decoration of fucking war too and rage or a vow of retaliation because that's what I gotta deal with for the rest of my life. I'm barely getting any sleep. Then I gotta fight. I'm hearing these motherfuckers wanna fucking take my soul all night. I I like my sleep. I sleep a lot. No, I don't. But, nah, I ain't getting jig with that. Damn, I would have, I would have, I would have went on a thousand. Then he's getting chased by Farnese and them. Do they stay on his ass the whole time? I know I have to go to the next chapter. We're going to the next chapter. Oh, okay, this is chapter 118. This is still the conviction art. It's called the Binding Chain chapter. The Beast of Darkness? I don't like, even like how this sounds. Oh! 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 It's as if Hellfire scorched this. The struggler, footprints on his path. You're following too? So far, needs ants. Oh, wait, time out. I love a good story. It seems he ha he still has not been forsaken by evil fortune, but for a person following this path, it leads to an overly cruel night. Can a man continue to walk this path or else? Did you find him? <gasps> what? Did he just eat it? Guts is running, so we got schoolmate and Barney's chasing, fine, trying to follow him. You killed, you did kill, hey, you killed plenty children, babies, you killed countless, hey, you killed plenty to settle your own grudge, you killed, you killed, just to achieve your own desires, four little children, so many, you killed. So as long as they're demons, killing's alright. Even those children didn't become demons by choice. Those poor children, poor them. For your own one and only desire is right to kill. Dozens of them children, hundreds of them, it's right to kill. So it's right to kill so that you can survive. You stink of darkness, you do. You stink of darkness very right close to us. It lives, it lives inside of you, the beast, black, black, the beast of darkness. Damn. The more it, a 
as it thirsts, you kill as you kill it thirsts. The beast has an essential, insatiable appetite. The more it does this, the more blood in which it bathes. Always, always alone. Always all alone forever. It will still thirst, so keep killing. The blood must flow. Then the beast will consume you. It will take your place. Look at what he drew. You will come to feel nothing but hatred. You will become a monster in the form of a man. No. Perhaps you become a real monster. Maybe you can, like your friend, like him. Maybe, maybe. Get the fuck away from me, yeah, that would piss me off too. You're goddamn kidding me. In a place like this, by these weaklings, sacrifice. But when would I reach him? How many more dead will I have to push aside? How many more apostles will I have to cut down? How long will I have to creep in darkness until him? This shot is fucking crazy, y'all. Come close. Will those wings take the ever? Can he wander off and die? It is setting. Oh my Time for the full lecture. Look here. You, look, you have a seat right there. Egads! Hey, what are you doing? Wake up or you're dead. Give up. Give up. Jackass, put some spirit into this. What's the big idea after all the preaching to Jill? Who oh, get the fuck off me. I'm crying. The math. Puck is still protecting him. Fish and steam. And I'm top four. Hey. Hey. Be thankful now you're awake. Why you quit? Losers, right? You know, I can't keep tense with you around. Taking it seriously just seems silly. Looks like they gave it up too. Did you see my power? You should become a monster. You'll become. I am what I am, and I will make my my way to him. I I don't, I, don't, I, I fucking so hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. He, <laughs> Griffin turned into a fucking monster. That's a monster that he turned into. He was low-key a monster after Griff Guts left. What makes you think this nigga didn't have to become a monster to find the monster? If you're going to be the best swimmer in the world, what do you have to do to get there? Think, people. Use our brains. Let's continue the fucking story. Like, we gotta kill Fem2. We gotta do whatever. Even if even if he gives us like a tiny scratch, I'm screaming to the top of my lungs. Because we did it. We reached this bitch ass nigga. Please don't piss me off with this monster shit. He is what he is. It, the nigga watched the woman he loved after having a weird sexual intimacy problem. Because of what he been through with bum ass Gambino and Donovan. Get sexually assaulted. What makes you think he wouldn't turn into a monster? What makes you think we not gonna be in our villain era? This man's built different. Don't piss me off. That pissed me off a little bit. These goddamn monsters telling him he's turning into a monster. I don't give a fuck. Huh. All right, all right, you win, Puck. That could be your place. Do what you want. Hey, did you just say Puck, huh? You did, you did. We've been together for so long. That's the first thing you called me by my name. Whatever. Oh, then they pull up. Then they were on their trail. Chapter 119. I need to see. What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? Okay, okay. Conviction are binding chain chapter. The holy iron chain mates part one. Fuck. Guts there from before. We finally tracked you down, Black Swordsman. This man is the hawk of darkness. Well, you, 
I'll believe you can call me the beast, bitch. Hey, look, that sword. Yeah, is that a sword? He could wield that thing. Look, his left hand. His whole body's bloody stained, so he really is the one of darkness. Who the hell are these guys? We had a holy iron chain knights under direct control under of the holy sea. We have made haste under decree of a miracle recognition department to escort your person to the holy sea. Made haste? What? Right. If you throw down your sword and surrender well enough, if not, then in the name of God, we shall seize your person. Barney's a bad bitch. Why? I don't recall ever being arrested by priests. Of course, that don't mean I ain't been, but zero persuasive power. So you say, but what your bloodstained appearance? The children of that village, the mound of corpses left in the path you tread. Is that your, is that not their blood? Guts. Enough talk. This is God's will. All hands seize the black swordsman. Do it. You're in no shape for this. What do you do? Where's your dust? What a sword though. Did he really kill those people by himself? All that blood, he must have still. Just how much? There's no way he's fighting again. I'm tired. He hasn't even slept. He's fighting. What's with him? He can't use it at all. Guts. I can't. I can't swing my sword. Right. Everybody charge. Don't kill him, stupid. Wait, we can't kill him? Damn. Woo. 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 I know that shit hurt. Woo! Broken neck. You bastard. They're down. Are they dead? Dead? You'll pay for that. The fate hand. Watch out for it. Calm down. Don't get carried away. Stand around here. Check his movements. This nigga's movements is out of this world. Doink. Dip. Yo, he's cracking niggas with this. You mustn't kill him, fools. You're so tired. Oh, me. Oh, miserable. Why do they falter in the face of one wounded man? Come now, it cannot be helped. The Holy Iron Chain Knights are known as the Pretty Boy Knights. An alleged collection of bonbons into which high nobles who do not wish their eggs taken, taken in conflict and roll them for safety and status. And very few have any real experience in battle. Thus, it is only natural they falter. Thanks for your honored opinion. So what exactly is it that you're doing here, Sipiko? Oh, come on now. You know. I hate the sight of blood. Here we go. I also enlisted. Good now. Capture him. in the world did he just do? Ooh. How many bodies? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm seeing some feet. Six or seven. Ooh. Look at his comrades in the back. This nigga about to shit himself. You see him? Yes. Yes. He swung at the sword. He really, he went through five army men and, oh, five, damn. I was close. As if a cannon and blasted them apart. How did he, no mistake, he's the one. He left all those corpses. He's a monster. Dear God, this is the black swordsman. There's no doubt. The accused, the, the, a curseness recorded in Revelations, Lady Farnes, as the people said, simply sending forth a large number of troops to get an experience in battle will do no not. Do not, but increase our casualties. I ask you to entrust this task to me, Azan. Ooh, okay, I'm going to end it here. This video is long. I have to end it here, or it's just long. Okay, I'm very impressed right now. The fact that he's still fighting is fucking crazy. The art is crazy. Everything's just been so goddamn crazy in this story. He just finished getting beat the fuck up by Rosine barely really uh, like and to, to to be real i don't even think she's dead or maybe she is dead but the fact that he wounded her enough that she just ran away 
says a lot but he also was getting chased so it's like do we really think guts would have did it i don't think we really would have did i don't think so i just don't think so i just don't think so i don't think if guts really did it he would have did it i think he would he think he just wanted to let her bleed out i don't know and i and i I don't know. I feel as though I am lost on why we chased Rosine. Is it because she killed the bandit? Somebody please answer this goddamn question. Like, <laughs> I can't remember. Is it because she killed the bandit of hockey? He knows because I don't ever remember him meeting Rosine until it was with Jill. Like, I can't remember. Please remind me why we started chasing Rosine. Because I feel like he could have just went on. But also, is it because he thinks if he kills the apostles, Femto will come? Femto? Yes. Th- those are my questions. Please answer this. I'm begging someone to answer it. Um, is that my only question? Where the fuck is Casca? I don't know. She just went Ricky. Do we see this bitch again? Oh my god. <laughs> I, if that was my last time seeing her, like somebody needs to say something. That's fucked up. So Jill just goes back to her bum ass village. I really thought she was gonna turn. I really wanted her to turn. And then be like I don't know, I wanted her to turn and like she teaches the children how to be children. Like she becomes like an actual mother and Rosine becomes Rosine. Like she's just turning motherfuckers. I don't know. And why children? And was she assigned to do that when she got the bailet? I am so confused why she started doing it. To start her own fairies? Like, so she kind of... Oh, my God. Now I'm thinking about it. She came to the Misty Valley. was like there was no fairies. Her dad started beating her freaking ass for finding her. Then the bailet came about. She sacrificed her parents. And she just started turning children into elves because she she was upset there was no fairies slash elves. Is that what I'm getting here? And now this bum bad bitch, goddamn dumb bitch, Farnese is chasing him. Talking about he's the hawk of darkness, the beast of darkness, a monster of darkness. When it's really motherfucking Femto. But them motherfuckers don't know who Femto is. They don't even know. They didn't even have a proper communication. This story would not be happening if we all just had proper fucking communication. God fucking damn it. That's the end of this goddamn rant. I'm over this. I'm ending it here. I hope you guys like this. I hope you guys subscribe to it. I hope you share with your friends and family. I'll see you in the next part. Bye.